We already know who, we already knew where, we just didn't know when. But we will find that out in mere moments. The NFL schedule's about to be released. Mike Kliss joining us now with some breaking Kliss. And Mike, let's begin with, um, how about the preseason? Tell us about the preseason, what we know about that. Preseason games here on uh, Channel 20. It's first of all going to start with the game at Minnesota. The timing uh, not set yet, but probably around mid-August. There's a chance, look for the possibility, that the Broncos and Vikings discuss joint practice leading into that first preseason game. George Payton, of course, knows that facility inside and out. They're going to need league approval with COVID restrictions and everything else. Then week two at Seattle. Uh, might see uh, Russell Wilson, should see Russell Wilson. Nice test for the Broncos there. And then the only preseason game at home for the Denver Broncos against the Los Angeles Rams, who never play anybody in the preseason, no matter what week. But that should be <laughs> right around August 28th. And then a couple weeks, they'll have two weeks off before the regular season starts. Oh, okay, very interesting. Speaking of that regular season, Mike, it's really all about New York for not just one, but both openers. Sure is. First of all, the season opens uh, September 12th at MetLife Stadium against the New York Giants. By itself, it's not much of a marquee matchup, but that's going to be the 20th anniversary of 9-11. Uh, the game will be played actually a day after the anniversary. What's interesting about that, the Broncos and the Giants, you might remember, played the night before 9-11 at the opening of the Broncos new stadium. It was called Invesco Field right there. So it's going to be quite the emotional weekend there in New York and across America uh, that particular day. So uh, Pat Shermer Bowl also, he was a head coach of the Giants and he picked Daniel, jo Daniel Jones as a quarterback. Now he's the offensive coordinator for the Broncos. See if he goes with Drew Locke in that matchup. Mike, looking at you on social media, a couple other interesting observations. Uh, the thing we've seen year after year with Monday night not there, and I like the start of this schedule for the Broncos. Yeah, they start off, uh, you know, Fangio uh, needs a quick start. He started 0-4 in 19, 0-3 last year. This year you got the 6-10 and Giants. You've got the 1-15 uh, and 15 Jacksonville Jaguars, maybe Tim Tebow in that game. And then you got the 2-14 and 14 Jets. Uh, in the home opener here. Uh, that's a little late for that home opener, but the Broncos have to start fast, no doubt about it. And the key, no Monday night football for the Broncos for the first time in 29 years. That was the longest record streak in the NFL. It's gonzo. It's a reflection of where the Broncos have been. Only one primetime game in 2021 on their schedule. That'll certainly be strange. Mike, final seconds before we go. Tell us about the new tackle Denver statted. Bobby Massey won the audition. He beat out three other vets. He signs for one year, a deal up to $4 million. He'll replace Jawan James, who, uh, as everyone knows, got hurt last year, last week with the Achilles, and we'll see if the Broncos pay him or not. Very good, Mike. Thank you. Much more with Mike coming up tonight at 9 and 10 o'clock.